Welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asimatics and really interesting challenge today, a to the power b minus b to the power a equal to 17 and of course we need to find our a and b. How can we do this? In this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we do this step by step. First of all let's look at this a to the power b, let's write right here our a to the power b, so a to the power b. We can easily rewrite it in another way, for example let's look at this explanation. So we have a to the power b, let's write this a to the power b as a to the power b raised to the power 2 over 2. It changed nothing for us, but it helps us a lot, because right here we can easily write this as b over b times 2 over 2, or in another way we can write it as a to the power b over 2 squared, okay? Absolutely the same expression, because if we multiply b over 2 times 2, we will have absolutely the same expression as right here, we have only b. So this is our first interpretation, and let's do the same thing with this b to the power a, okay? So we have b to the power a. How can we write it? Absolutely the same logic. We can write it as b to the power a raised to the power 2 over 2. And absolutely the same logic, but we can easily swap position with this b and a. So we have b to the power a over 2 squared. Okay? So we will have absolutely the same expression. So it changed nothing, but it helps us a lot. Because right now, if we plug in not this expression, but if we plug in this expression inside our, our equation, we will have absolutely another interpretation, which helps us a lot. So we have a to the power b over 2 squared minus b to the power a over 2 squared equal to equal to 17. Right now it's really great to write a substitution, a substitution because we have like a complicated expression, but if we work with substitution, for example, this is equal to x and this is equal to y, it will be much better for us, much easier for us to solve this challenge. So let's write right here our let a to the power b over 2 equal to equal to x and this one and b to the power a over 2 equal to equal to y. Okay, so let's write our substitution. So we have x square minus y square equal to equal to 17. Okay, right now difference of squares, pretty basic formula, we can easily write it, so let's go with it. So we have x, x plus y times x minus y equal to equal to 17. Okay, pretty basic formula, and right now we have a prime number on the right hand side, and we have a product on the left hand side, so one and only way is when we can express this 17 as a product of two values. So right here we have a product of two expressions of two values, and we should express this on the left, on the right hand side, in, in the same way. 17 is a prime number, so we can write it only in two cases, in two ways, so 1 times 17, and the second 17 times 1. But if we look closely, x plus y is greater, so x plus y is greater than x minus y. So first value should be greater than the second one, and this value only works in this second case, because 1 and 17 and 17 and 1, so, so x plus y should be greater than x minus y. So one and only case when even the bigger one is 17 and the lower one is is 1. So x minus 1 equal to 1. So let's write our system of equation. So we have the first one, we have x plus y equal to 17. And the second one, x minus y equal to equal to 1. Let's solve this challenge. Let's add both, both equations right here. We can do this, we can cancel our y. So we have 2x equal to 18. So 2x equal to 18. From here our x equal to equal to 9. And let's find our y from here, so y equal to 17 minus 9, which is equal to, which is equal to 8. So from here our x equal to 9 and our y equal to 8. But it is our, our x and y, how can we solve our uh, 4x? So let's write right here our expression, our equation a to the power b over 2 equal to 9. So the first one, let's separate these solutions. So we have the first case, uh, on the left hand side a or a to the power b over 2 equal to x equal to 9 and the second equation b to the power a over 2 equal to y equal to 8. So let's solve this two exponential equation, let's solve this, how can we solve this challenge? First of all let's raise both sides to the power 2 because then we can cancel this two. If we squared both sides we have only a to the power b. So we have a to the power b equal to 81 
all, let's write this 81 as 3 to the fourth power. So we have a to the power b, oh, you didn't see it, sorry. So a to the power b equal to 3 to the power 4, okay? 3 to the power 4, and let's do the same logic with the right-hand side. But right here we have b to the power a equal to 64, okay? Let's write this 64 as a 2 to the power 6, so we have b to the power a equal to 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 6, and which is equal to, let's write this 6 as 2 times 3, so we have 2 to the power 2 times 3, which gives us 2 to the power 2 cubed, okay? In the same way, this is equal to 4 to the power 3. And right now, let's look at this expression in general. So we have on the left-hand side, a to the power b equal to 3 to the fourth, and on the right-hand side, we have b to the power a equal to 4 to the power 3. Okay, so I write right here on the right-hand side, and this is on the, on the left-hand side. So a to the power b equal to 3 to the fourth, and b to the power a equal to 4 to the third power. Okay, so a equal to 3, yeah, obviously from here a equal to 3, b equal to 4, and absolutely the same case right here, a equal to 3, b equal to 4. So a equal to 3, b equal to 4. Let's check it, let's check it, maybe someone don't trust me, uh, let's check it. So we have a to the power b, what expression we have in the beginning? We have a to the power b minus b to the power a equal to 17, I guess, yeah? Okay, let's do this, so 3 to the power 4, 3 to the power 4 minus 4 to the power 3 equal to 17. Let's look at it. So 3 to the 4th, it looks like 81, minus 4 to the 3rd looks like 64. Yeah, this is equal to 17. So, absolutely correct solution. So our answer, our answer, A equal to 3, B equal to 4. And this is our answer to this, to this challenge. So I hope you understand this explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you still have any question, write a question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. Also, thank you for your support. Thank you for your time and see you in the next videos.